How's it going on Savage Life family? I want to go ahead and show you guys this stock here and take a quick look into it. It's called eHang, ticker symbol EH. And what eHang does is it's an autonomous passenger drone company founded in 2014. The company made headlines over the years for its promise of self-flying taxis and went public in New York in 2019. So before seeing it listed in 2019, it was sitting at nine, uh, $12.55 and stagnant at this level until a report came out on December, pushing the stock all the way up above $120 price point. That's over almost 900% in a single year, or I'd say in a couple of months that that spike happened. And then a short seller report came out the past week, dropping this over $100 to the $33 level. Now, it is all over the place, extremely volatile because today it's up $25 in a single day. And that happens to be because investors have been dumping shares in the Chinese drone maker Ehang after a short seller accused the US listed company of fraud. So after that fraud report came out, we could see this massive dip here because a lot of people jump ship and got afraid because a lot of investors just don't want anything to do with a fraud allegated company. And myself as well, obviously, if there is some fraud allegations with the, within a company. I will go ahead and look into it before jumping ship. Now, Ehang responded and slammed the Wolfpack research report as deceptive. In a statement on Tuesday, the company said that it believes the account contains numerous errors and misinterpreted information. An Ehang spokesperson told CNN Business on Wednesday that the company strongly believes that Wolfpack lacks a basic understanding of its business and operations and it would refute the wolfpack allegation in full shortly now what does this mean so pretty much there is quite a bit of uncertainty if you are extremely bullish on ehang and have faith that ehang absolutely has no fraud allegations then stick with it because once they come out with a full report rejecting this allegation, then the Ehang stock here would skyrocket and break $100 in the next couple of weeks, depending on what happens. But if Ehang does not respond to these allegations and stays quiet for the next couple of weeks, it's going to cause the stock to tank. And that's what the short sellers want. They want businesses to fail. That's how they make profit at the end of the day. I don't believe in their methods of doing things, but if their investigation and reports is true at the end of the day, then it is worth noting. So the report stated, and I quote from Wolfpack, an elaborate stock promotion built on largely fabricated revenues based on sham sales contracts with a customer who appears to us to be more interested in helping inflate the value of its investments. So pretty much saying it's a circular fraud allegation and that they have absolutely no fails, no sales and are falsifying their filings and reports. Now, Wolfpack claimed that they gathered extensive evidence, including behind the scenes photographs, recorded phone calls, and videos of on-site visits. So if they do release this information to the public, then there is going to be a huge tank. So if you're currently not invested in He Hang, I'd wait a couple of days for this to settle before hopping in because you don't really know quite which direction it could head. And when it comes to these big players, you don't really want to put too much faith in them, whether if it's the Ehang Corporation or the Wolfpack. But in terms of these articles coming out, I'm never really on the short seller side because it seems like they always do this to cause stocks to plummet for them to profit at the end of the day. So whenever I read into these reports, I'm always against them. So Ehang, I may be quite bullish towards them. But the fact that they're a Chinese listed company does bring a lot of scrutiny due to the fact that there was a company that was listed called Luckin Coffee. I'm not sure if you guys know of it, 
but they were put under scrutiny in the US for allegedly inflating their financial data and they were founded in 2017 in Beijing now what ended up happening was trading was suspended and the company was delisted from Nasdaq on the 29th of June in 2020 and the company ended up filing for bankruptcy in the US this month this year on February of 2021 so if fraud allegations do end up being true for companies uh, whatever the company is e hang the company will dump and become delisted from the nasdaq and that is scary that is obviously scary as a financial investor so i would hope that if wolfpack wolfpack releases a report here that could affect a lot of people's bank accounts a lot of people's investment portfolios that the data that they put out is absolutely accurate because if not they're just toying with other people's lives and should be taken to court so as an outsider i'm gonna sit out on e hang and watch it play out for the next couple of days next couple of weeks if you decide to ride the wave i'll go ahead and keep an eye out for these reports to make sure if they respond in the future i do believe it could go both ways with this stock but if those allegations are false it could definitely go ahead and break a hundred dollar mark so if you're bullish on this stock do keep that in mind but be sure not to have a big percentage of your portfolio sitting on this volatile stock right here at the moment. Also, I'd like to dive into the top institutional holders is what I like to look at when looking at these fraud allegation reports. And we can see here Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Morgan Stanley, Brain, uh, BlackRock. All these institutions here have thousands of shares currently at the moment and if they believe in a company to go well like ehang then as an individual investor you should not worry about such reports in the long term unless you see a huge sell-off of these top institutional investors here then there'll be a serious problem behind the scenes but as you can see here we even see HRT financial with over 10,000 shares and so checking their portfolio you can see they're still holding on to e hang and letting it play out by the leg so we'll just go ahead and keep you guys updated to see what ends up happening with this company and I'll be sure to put out a video as soon as the report goes out so I'll catch you guys on the next one be sure if you're new to the channel to smash that like, subscribe to join the Savage Life family for more updates. And that's it. See ya.